Watch how China converts their big desert regions into oases. This is Arthur and of course this is Richard Aguilar and welcome back again to our channel and now if you don't want to miss any of our new videos don't forget to subscribe and push the bell icon with strong dedication hard work and great teamwork impossible things can be done that's what's happening in China's desert regions Many of China's big desert areas are now turning into oases because of the great effort done by people behind this green development so today, in this video, you are going to see great examples of how China turns their desert regions into oases. Alright, without further delay, let's begin with our video. Number 1 is Breathtaking View of China's Lowest Plateau Gates Green Coat. Home to more than 15 million people in Lowest Plateau in China's Northwest takes its name from the dry, powdery, wind-blown soil. Two projects set out to restore China's heavily degraded Lowest Plateau through one of the world's largest erosion control programs with the goal of returning this poor part of China to an area of sustainable agricultural production. More than 2.5 million people in four of China's poorest provinces Shanxi, Shaanxi, and Gansu, as well as the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, were lifted out of poverty. Through the introduction of sustainable farming practices, farmers' incomes doubled, employment diversified, and the degraded environment was revitalized. Number two is China's green efforts inspire the world. China has been committing to green development. The Beijing Horticultural Expo is an example. More than 110 countries and international organizations attend at the 162-day expo. Over 2,500 events will be held for an estimate of 16 million visitors. They were introduced to greening achievements in China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. From 2013 to 2018, its forest coverage rate increased from 21.3% to 22.1%, while its average grassland vegetation coverage rate reached 44%. Number 3 is world looks to China for experiences in combating desertification. China is becoming global leader in green development. It's fighting against climate change by making massive investment in renewable energy. China's sustained efforts to keep deserts at bay have drawn attention to experts worldwide. They say world should learn from China's experiences in combating desertification.
Number four is rocky landscape turned into oasis in Yunnan, China. Chichou County in Yunnan used to be one of the region's worst hit by rocky desertification. After many years of greening efforts, the local environment has changed dramatically. The rocky landscape has been covered by vegetation. Number 5 is Villagers Turn Barren Hills into Lush Mountains in Liaoning, China. Tucked in the mountains of Northeast China lies a village named After Pear Trees. Several decades ago, Dalishu village was known for poverty. However, by working hard, locals turned their hometown into one of the most villages across China. The number of tourists exceeded 357,000 in 2018, bringing in revenue of 5.37 million US dollars. Number 6 is China's Desert City Turns Into Oasis An oriental province in the middle of the desert Jinshan, known as China's nickel capital, boasts of a striking scenery of flowers and plants. In recent years, flowers were extensively planted in the city. Watch this to learn more. Number 7 is Desert Turns Into Oasis in Northwest China's Nature Reserve. Yanqi County used to be swamped in the sand. The nature reserve covers 84,000 hectares and has hundreds of wild plants and animals. Afforestation started here in 1960s to control desertification, desert has turned into oasis. Number 8 is Desert Town Turns Into Oasis in Xinjiang, China. Tiumo County is located in China's largest desert, Taklamakan. In the early 1990s, the county seat had to be relocated several times due to shifting sand. Residents in the region have long been plagued by erratic weather and poverty. Local residents planted diversiform leaved poplar, red willow, and Russian olive trees in moving sand dunes.
that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So, if you have something to say about this video, don't forget to leave us a comment below. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching and see you on the next video. video.